Ryan, I'm at right out here on Regal Street, just outside of our studio, and it's pretty quiet right now. There's actually a couple of cars coming down here. A small, thin layer of snow, pretty clear, and I was actually out earlier today talking to people, shoveling their driveway, and asking them what they thought of this snow removal plan. Um, see what they have to say. I've heard about it. However, yesterday didn't see any evidence of it. Uh, I was out and about uh, late afternoon yesterday. Bernard, 29th. Grand, then like they've even touched. So I don't know what they were doing yesterday. 24 hours after Spokane's record snowfall, the city now insists main arterials are plowed and are now moving into residential streets. I noticed this year as he was coming along, he, he moved the uh, blades so that he did not dump the snow in the driveways, which makes it a lot easier for us. That technique is part of the revamped plan that puts an emphasis on plowing away from sidewalks. A year ago, you may remember the city was heavily criticized for not plowing residential streets fast enough. It's the reason why there's so much emphasis on it this time around. On Spokane South Hill, people like Greg said he saw plows a day earlier than expected. You know, I noticed that was a water truck, a water department truck that just came by. So utilizing other city vehicles for snow removal sounds like another real good idea. As for when crews will get to your neighborhood, They'll be in the northeast neighborhoods first, then on to northwest. Plows will then clear southeast and then southwest neighborhoods. To keep track of the progress, you can head to the city's website. As for what you can do in these slushy conditions, the city is asking you to blow or shovel your snow into your yard and not into the street. You should also clear off snow from parked cars to allow plow drivers to see them better. As those plows are coming through your streets, um, you want to remember that you need to park your car on the odd side of the street. Also, if you're planning on spending time downtown, because most of the snow has melted there, the city has said you can park your car between midnight and 6 a.m. Reporting on the South Hill, Dana Marie McNichol, Crump 2 News.